Okay, so I wanted to make another video because earlier today, I've been doing these scheduled calls. Maybe you were one of the people that I did a scheduled call with. But I've been doing scheduled calls mainly because I wanted to see how people are reacting to this training. I want to hear from them. And the more I talk to people on the phone, it actually helps me with my webinars and conference calls I plan on doing. So it's helping me learn what people, how people see this business. Uh, but when I was talking to James earlier and I was saying, I was like, people don't understand, you know, this is a one-time fee. There's no monthly fees. So when people ask me, you know, how long is it going to take me to make money? Am I going to make money? You know, they almost have like one foot out, one foot in. You got to jump in with two feet. That's the only way you're going to be successful in anything. But when you think about it this way, this is a one-time fee. There are zero monthly fees in this business. So that means you can be in business for the next two years, five years, ten years, and never pay another dime. That is very powerful because even if it takes you a little bit longer, maybe you're busy or whatever the case may be, there's no reason to quit. And the only reason why you're not going to make money is because you quit. If you keep pushing ahead in any business, you'll eventually make money because you'll hit critical mass. Eventually, you're going to talk to enough people that someone's going to join. Just like when I talked to people when I first started selling this type of stuff, after a while, I'm like, all right, I'm just going to keep doing this because eventually someone's going to join. You're going to talk to enough people. And because there's no monthly fees, that's the big part. So then out of nowhere, James comes back to me with like a five to ten minute explanation on how he sees it, which totally blew me away. I'm like, we have to make a video. <laughs> so I want him to explain in his old business because he's basically almost in business right now, set up for in three days. I mean, tomorrow, this is day two, tomorrow would be his third day. And he's basically going to be in business tomorrow. By day four, he's going. Okay. Now I want him to explain what it took him to be in business in his old business. Well, as <laughs> Phil said, I'm, I'm blown away on the opposite side because in my world, I've owned a franchise business for the past nearly eight years. And when I've been working with Phil as to what he's offering and what we've done in just about what's going to be three days, I was floored for a number of reasons. Number one, the fact that it's up and running already in this short time frame. Number two, the costs involved. What I will tell you is when I had my franchise business, I had to pay tens of thousands of dollars. I actually spent $50,000 and I had to pay for a training fee of $20,000 where I had to actually go to the actual center in the home office and spend a week of my time learning the business before I could even make any money, before I could even do anything. And then after that, I learned a lot, but then I actually started day one after being, actually it was two weeks, my bad, it was two weeks of time. Then day one, when you're opening your doors to start your business, they send you actually a person from the home office to help you get up and running. So you have the two weeks training, you have a person that's there to help you get started. So you really don't even get started till about a month in. And that's just to get you up and running to get started. Very similar to what Phil provides where you have a contact list of preferred vendors and so forth, just like we have the business loan funding companies. They give you a list. Uh, there is no introductions made. You just call them as needed and so forth. But my point is this. I spent tens of thousands of dollars and in one month I still hadn't made any money and I wasn't even up and running yet. And here I am, you fast forward to three days of time we are up and running. I'm really in business right now. And we just started, I, I started paid marketing. So I was doing Facebook advertising. We're starting to get into that. But I was just amazed. The second part of that is, if any of you know or have looked into any franchise businesses, outside of all your startup costs, you have royalties. And every business has, every franchise business, when you sign up, you have a franchise monthly royalty. Some of them have weekly advertising fees. And with Phil, it's a one-time startup, one time. You pay that fee and you're in business, but the training doesn't end. You have the Facebook help page. You have the question and answer. Set. So I am floored, and I just want to share this with you because in my old, all the time of being in my franchise business, now I just want to make it clear, I'm not against what I've done in the past with franchises, and I'm not against franchise ownership. I do feel that it, it is right for certain people. But what I want to express to you, if you've ever looked into a franchise business or any other business, 
I don't think you fully understand and realize what you have here. I don't even know if you understand the support you're giving is tremendous to these people because I've been through the franchise operation and working with Phil in just these few days, I'm up and running. There are no fees beyond what I'm paying for my paid marketing, which is up to me and my obligation versus a franchise telling me they're going to take X percent of my gross sales on a monthly basis. So I just wanted to, and when Phil and I had that conversation, I just said, man, I don't think people understand how lucky they are to have this. And make no mistake, this is a real business that you can run and operate just as if you had a bricks and mortar franchise business like I had. So I'm finding that I'm doing things more efficiently at a lower cost because I don't have to pay royalties or anything like that. And I'm already up and running. It's only day three. So I just want to share that message with you. And I think it's important that you understand that distinction because it is a real important and you get so much support and help here. I don't want to tell that. So, and that's, I can't even pretend to answer that question. You know, I could sit here and talk about my knowledge, but when he said that to me, I was like, wow, we got to make a video. <laughs> so, but I wanted to say one more thing. When you do a, a business like that, and I, I'm not asking you to tell people how much you made and all that, but let me ask you this question. Uh, people know how much I make because I have to tell them. Right, right. So last year I did 1.62 million. Have you ever made more than that? No. I haven't even made a fraction of that. So and the time that I've spent, I mean, there were times I remember calling you and you're already having dinner with the family and I'm still working. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> what's wrong with this picture? And uh, that that's definitely the thing. What I'm understanding just in these three days alone is the fact of how much effort, which isn't even hard work, how much effort we're putting into setting up the actual making money part of the business where the other business that I was in, I spent very little time, if at all, really concentrating on what really makes money. And I think that's also a big point of difference, but uh, absolutely. So it's funny that that last part that he just said, and let's, t let's tell him where that came from. <laughs> so what, six months ago, four months ago, three months ago, right, right? Yeah. a few months ago, I said to him one day, I'm like, Tell me, and I never imagined that you were going to take it to that level and actually like write it down. Right. But I said to him, the reason why I love what I do is because I spend all my time, 90 plus percent of my time, making money. All the garbage that you have to deal with the business employees, because I don't have employees, I don't have bosses, I don't have to go in office, I don't have to drive anywhere, right? right? I mean, people don't realize, I literally, well, you've been seeing me in slippers <laughs> and my His PJs, my PJs <laughs> that I wear every day. This is me every day. You know, we we're in my backyard, waterfalls are going, we, I barbecued the last two days. He's like, you're spoiling me, I can't go back home after this. But what people don't understand is that I spend most of my time actually making money. Mm -hmm. And I asked him one day, I said, James, I'm just kind of curious, go through your day, I'm, think about it, how much time do you actually spend making money? And he actually sat there like, huh. You know, and he's like, yeah, not much. And that right. was the extent of it. Don't say he calls me like two weeks later. He's like, so you know what a question you asked me? Well, I actually went and wrote it down. I'm like, for real? So then he actually told me, he's like, I actually kept a log every day of how much actual time from driving here, seeing clients, dealing with this, dealing with employees. Dealing with he goes, I spent like maybe a half hour to hour a day, yeah. right? So I'm like, actually rough. making money. Yeah. And that's the difference. That's you know? the biggest difference. I don't difference. care what you, you think about your, your job as an employee. Most people have a job. Mm -hmm. And... In, in what, even if you're a business, whatever, but most employees, they go to work, but how much time are you actually helping the company make money? Not that I ever advocate being an employee, but, um, but you know, you, you, need to, you need to look at that and say, how much time do we really spend right. making money? So that's why I love keeping my business small, personnel-wise. I love doing online stuff, and I love automation. Those are the keys. And when I tell people that are in the lead gen business with me that make way more money than I do, they actually say, man, I envy you. Hmm. You don't have to deal with the garbage. You don't have to deal with the crap that I have to deal with on a daily basis. You just sit there and just make money and relax and basically hang out half the time. Of course, I work hard, but I don't have to work hard every day, 12 hours a day. I think that's the difference. So, but it's just funny, uh, <laughs> some of the questions that we've talked about yeah, in the past yeah. and things. So anyway, we'll leave it at that for now, and, um, and we'll make more videos as time goes on. All right, cool.